Single sheet binding is a method used for individual sheets of paper. This works for paper which is difficult to fold into signatures, like heavy paper stock or printed sheets. Hey! This is another one of those tutorials you guys have been requesting ever since I started my channel, and it's finally here! This stitching method works great for thick sheets of paper, but keep in mind if you use this method, you will be binding every single page. So for those of you who have hundreds of single sheets to bind, this might not be the most efficient option, but I do have some other single sheet binding tutorials which you can find in the video description below. And while you're there, you can find a complete list of supplies that I will use to make this book. To start, I'm using 20 sheets of watercolor paper. Even if your paper is thick and you're concerned that the thread might tear the binding holes, an option is to tape the edge you will be binding on. This step is optional and it's just extra reinforcement. I'm placing half of the tape on one side and folding the paper over, pressing down on the other side. Then trimming off the extra tape on the ends. And I'm going to repeat this on each page. You might find that a lot of steps in this video take a while, so I just kind of like to zone out and listen to a book while I make a book. If you guys also like to do this, Audible is offering a free audiobook and free 30-day trial membership. Just go to audible.com slash clemon if you're interested in listening to an ebook while you work. You can also find a link to audible.com slash clemon in the description below. After taping all 20 sheets, now let's move on to the binding holes. On the top edge, measure out a half inch over and make three marks that are three fourths inch apart. Then do the same on the bottom edge. You can also change the measurements, it's really up to you. I usually find if they are closer to the top and bottom of the edge, the pages won't be as loose or wiggle around as much. Now use that sheet as a template to pierce the holes through about four sheets at a time. For the cover, I'm using plain board, which I saved from the back of sketch pads. If you need some ideas on where you can find board, check out this video here. Following the same process, use the page as a template and pierce holes in the cover board. Make sure they are large enough for the needle to go through. Okay, now let's bind. This method is a little different and requires individual stitching for each station. So I'm using six pieces of wax thread, one for each station. If you want to learn how to wax your own thread, check out this video here. To determine the length, I estimated by stringing it along the area as many times as there are pages. Then you will need a binding needle for each station, so six in this case. This may seem like a lot, but needles usually come in large packs. I prefer curved ones for this, and if you want to learn more info on bookbinding needles, check out this video here. Single thread a needle with no knot. It's easier to bind this on the edge of a table. Start with the bottom page and the back cover, and make sure you keep the rest of the pages in the same order as you bind them on. Go through the first hole and come back around to tie a knot right next to it. You can then trim off the end and tuck it in. Then go around to the cover's first hole, back out, and through the first loop you made. Make sure you go under both threads when you come back around. Thread the rest of the needles and repeat this step on the remaining holes. Here's that step one more time on the third hole. Tie the knot on the sheet, go around to the cover, and through the first loop you made. You might find that this method is a lot like optic stitch binding, so if you're familiar with that, this might come easy to you. When you have the first page done, bring on the next page, loop around the first hole, back out, and around the loop you made. Do this with the remaining holes on the page. Loop around, and back around. Repeat this step on the remaining holes. After the second page is done, place the third on and loop around the first hole. Then you want to loop around the previous stitch below it. Repeat that for the remaining holes. 
and repeat this step on the rest of the pages, always looping around the previous stitch. If you run out of thread, it's no problem. Just tie a knot on the loop, cut the thread off, and you can tuck the end under the loop. Then continue to the next page with a new threaded needle and tie it on just like you did in the beginning. Go around the previous stitch, cut the excess off and tuck the end in, and continue binding in the same process. When you're done with the last page, bind on the cover much like you would a regular sheet. Loop through the hole, around the previous stitch, but this time back around the stitch once more through to the inside. Then tie a knot on the inside thread. Tuck the end under and cut the excess off. Repeat this on the rest of the holes on the cover and try to make the knots close to the edge. After all that hard work, it's finally finished. I hope this tutorial helps you out in your next book project and if it does, give this video a thumbs up and let me know how it goes in the comments below. For more bookbinding tutorials and DIY projects, be sure to subscribe to my channel, Sea Lemon. If you're interested in other single sheet methods, check out these videos here or see the links in the description below. Don't forget to follow me on my social links so we can share project pictures.